like, we're gonna start accumulating trash in our hands since we have most of our late game sitting in our hand right now. We'll just, like, if we don't win with all this late game, we're gonna create more late game later with Pine Claw. See? See what would happen if we Pine Claw? See what would, see what would happen? Um, pretty sure it's just Briar Rose here, right? In fact, I'm gonna be a bitch and actually utilize Bellflower and save my ram. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a special challenge. I have asked ChatGPT to make a deck before, and it was so bad. It was making up our cards like Armored Goon. Anyway, I'm going to try, attempt, to make ChatGPT make a valid deck in PvZ Heroes. I picked Solar Flare because she has a strong class, which is solar and a fun class which is kabloom uh, i've written out an entire paragraph that i'm gonna start with uh and we're gonna hopefully and i'll read this to you and uh, hopefully it, the chat gpt will be able to make a valid legal pvz heroes deck on its first try that's extremely unlikely so i'm probably going to have to go and start making some corrections in order to correct the mistakes we obviously need a legal deck uh, we are going again for one with just kabloom cards and solar cards so this is the first message that i've typed into chat gpt is make a valid pvc heroes deck the deck should be legal to play in the pvc heroes game the deck should contain exactly 40 cards i'm trying to really describe the rules of deck building in pvc heroes there should be no more than four copies of any particular card. All the cards should be real cards which are actually in the game PvZ Heroes as opposed to Armored Goon. All the cards should be from the plant side. All the cards should either be plants or plant tricks. None of the cards should be superpowers. I just don't want it saying, hey, look, uh, add the, you know, three copies of Weed Wag to the deck. No, none of that. All of the cards should either be from the Solar class or the Kabloom class. Again, it's got to be legal. It's got to be only in two classes. The deck should contain a balance. Okay, now I'm actually trying to make it, like, give a, some semblance of a deck that I could actually win with. So the deck should contain a balance between low-cost cards and high-cost cards. There should be eight cards that cost one, two, three, four, and five. I'm just trying to create some kind of curve. No little buddies. Oh, dang, I forgot. I wrote that the deck should contain at least one seedling and one cob cannon. Cob cannon costs six. All right, so I'm going to do um, four cards that cost five, son. And, uh, and four, which costs six, son. Okay, there. Now it's I can actually make a deck with Cobb Cannon. All right, we're going to get chat GPT, and I, I am going to be playing eight games with the deck. I'll, I'll determine the bets uh, after I see what the deck is actually going to be. Come on, chat GPT, do something useful for once in your life. Let's see. Let's see what it can make. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, wait, wait. Whoa. Uh, oh, what is going on here? All right, one cause. Okay, certainly. Here is a suggested PvZ Heroes deck that meets your criteria. Now, uh, it, it decided to do a one of each card challenge, but unfortunately, there are cards like Potato Mine uh, that we obviously cannot include in the deck. All right, so I'm going to start adding the cards that it actually did include, and then we're going to have to start uh, making some corrections. Uh, so we're running one Bellflower, one Sunflower, that's legal. Pretty good so far. One Morning Glory, okay, we're getting like a flower deck, a Little Buddy. Little Buddy costs zero, but we'll give it a pass. Okay, Potato Mine, Small Nut. Sunstrike is not a one-cost card, but it is legal, so that's fine. <laughs> we're going to somehow try to make a 40-card deck eventually here. Uh, and Primal Pea Shooter is obviously not. Let's go here. Sunshroom. So, Sunshroom is the little one. This is Sunshroom. Pea Shooter, no. Iceberg Lettuce, no. Fire Pea Shooter, Fertilize. Berry Blast? Oh, we get one Berry Blast. Um, seedling. <laughs> it does have the Seedling. He did get that. And Squash. Squash is a five-cost card, but hey, we give him a pass on that one. All right. Um, three Sun-cost cards. Why <laughs> Solar? Just add Solar Flare. Why not? That's not a three, Peter. Very angry we could run. Uh, where is Barry Angry? <laughs> it's here somewhere. 
I actually have a hard time find, picking out cards that I barely ever run. It's like my eye muscle memory is off, like doesn't like recognize them. All right, uh, what else do we got? We got Burying Gary, Split Pea Juggernaut, Banana Bomb we can run. That's a one-coster in the Kabloom class. Shroom for two is valid. And Bluesberry. Um, all right. Then we got four cost cards, our twin sunflower. <laughs> we got second best taco of all time. Power flower. It's a good card. <laughs> Such a mess. <laughs> I told I said it should have no more than four copies. Okay. Blooming heart. Blooming Heart's a one-cost card, but that's a good one. It's actually picking some pretty good cards here. Uh, overall quality. Sweet Potato, no. Berry Angry. <laughs> Berry Angry. Second copy of Berry Angry. Cobb Cannon. Oh, we got Cobb Cannon. I hope it gives me a second Cobb Cannon. Okay, Briar Rose. Oh, nice. And with all the flowers in this deck, Briar is going to pop off. Pine Clone. Hell yes. Hell yes. Where is Pine? The accuracy is actually not bad. There's a whole bunch of Mega Growing Guardian cards and a couple of Smarty. Where's Pine Claw? Gravitry, no. Metal Petal Sunflower is legal. And here's the six cost cards. We're running second Cobb Cannon. Hell yeah. Second Briar Rose. Colonel Corn. Ho, 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 ho. So we did second Cobb Cannon. Sorry. Dandelion King was first. And second Briar Rose. Oh my gosh. This deck. This deck includes a variety of low-cost, high-cost cards with a good mix of offensive and defensive capabilities. Inclusion of Seedling Cobb Cannon meets your specific request. Feel free to adjust the deck based on your play style and preferences. So we got 26 out of 40 cards. That's actually not bad compared to uh, considering this is Chat GPT. So right now I'm going to make a um, a list. A list of all the cards that it messed up. And uh, I'm gonna ho hopefully get the get it to correct it. This will just take a second here. These 13 cards are not valid according to the criteria, as they are not plants or plant tricks in the Kabloom and Solar classes. Okay, I'm going to do something just to make it a little bit easier for ChatGPT. And I'm going to write, um, please, placement cards. They should be the same as one of the other 27 valid cards you listed. Okay, I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier. So we're actually going to get multiple copies of the same card, just so it's not a complete one of each card challenge. I apologize for those. I hear 13 replacement cards that meet the criteria. Sunflower Seed. Okay. It wasn't one of the ones listed before, but it is valid. Uh, Bellflower. All right. <laughs> I'll reluctantly add an extra copy of Bellflower. Um, instead of, we've got a second Morning Glory. It's a decent, half-decent card. Uh, Sundrew, a little bit of ramp, a little bit of love. Instead of Iceberg Lettuce, Pea Shooter. <laughs> so we're going to have to correct that one. Um... Instead of Fire Pea Shooter, Iceberg Lettuce. Instead of a Fertilizer, we're adding another Berry Blast. Second Berry Blast, heck yeah. Uh, we're adding in Solar Flare. Keep the same. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> Why is it keeping it the same? Three Peter is Berry Angry. So we'll add another. And then Split Pea. <laughs> Juggernaut. Sweet Potato. Come on, man. Why is it keeping the same? I must have... Like said, it should be the same as the other cards. It said add a Cobb Cannon. Okay, I'm going to add a third Cobb Cannon because I don't really know what it's trying to replace. But we're still down six cards, and there's six cards missing here. So we are adding in Cobb Cannon, which is... It, it did suggest doing a valid solar card, so I'm going to add in third Cobb Cannon. Shush. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Are not cards in the solar... Or Kabloom class. Please suggest six more cards that are in the Solar or Kabloom class. Go, ChatGPT! Come on! I, I think it's gonna have it. 
All right, we got another berry blow. Oh, wait, bloomerang is actually valid. Okay, here's six more cards, guys. First is Bloomerang. That's a decent card. Berry Blast. Heck yeah. We got three Berry Blasts in this deck. Twin Sunflower. I'll take another Ram. Especially with Briar Rose, it's going to pop off. Shroom for two. We'll take one more of those. Why not? And Colonel Pult. Colonel Pult's valid. And the last one is Blooming Heart. Second Blooming Heart. All right, guys. Wait, I missed something. I missed the Colonel Pult, probably. Here's the Colonel Pult. And just like that, we got it valid. It only took like like four messages. That was actually pretty good boy, Chat GPT. This is the hot mess. The hot mess of a deck that Chat GPT. Honestly, though, the overall quality of cards, I'm really happy I picked Solar and Kabloom, are not terrible. Like what the only really bad card is Bellflower. Everything else is at least half decent, and it's possible that through other people chatting with Chat GPT, it actually got an idea. <laughs> it actually got an idea of what um, of what cards are actually decent in this game. So thank you to everyone who has uh, taught Chat GPT a little bit about PVZ Heroes. It's definitely come a long way since the last time we've talked. So this is gonna be Chat GPT's deck. We are going to make a screenshot of this. We're going to go back to the main PVZ Heroes. Uh, that's a very cool AI image that was not made by ChatGPT. It was made by Bing. Guys, Bing is way better than ChatGPT. Next time, I'm going to ask Bing to make a deck. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot better than this hot mess that we just made right now. Um, so we are going to make the deck. How am I going to fit this all on the screen? <laughs> I don't know. It's basically two different deck lists. I don't... I'll figure out a way to fit this on the screen, guys. One second. All right, guys. So that is the chat GPT deck that you try hard for 58 months. So we got it up on the screen. This is the deck. I think this deck is actually half decent now. It's a big mess because there's only like one or two copies of most cards. Sometimes three. But the cards we've got three are like Berry Blast. And Cobb Cannon, I mean, this we got two Briar Rose, we got Pine Clone Synergy, there's a lot of, like, Flowers, there's a lot of Ramp and Team-Ups for the Cobb Cannons. I think this deck might actually do pretty well. I, I Call me crazy, but I'm gonna do the bets 5 out of 8. We're gonna basically be doing this as, like, a regular troll deck that we do in the channel. I think this has some potential, so the bets are gonna be 5. You think this deck will go 5 out of 8, vote yes. Four out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry him up. Time for the first time ever to play with a deck that was made by an AI in PvZ Heroes. Here we go. Sorry about the small deck list. Um, to try to edit that, that it will fill this space evenly would be an absolute nightmare. Uh, so it's just going to be little teeny tiny. It doesn't matter. Come on, guys. And uh, yeah, so how are we going to mulligan this? I think like a bunch of early game and some pine clones could be because see this is not a bad hand it's not a bad hand we got berry blast i'm very optimistic guys thank you to our lord and savior chat gpt <laughs> that's, that's funny though so we end up with our solar flare super heck yeah five out of eight these are against real opponents too we could get snipers who knows it's gonna be a little bit hard to analyze this deck's weaknesses and strengths and snipe it properly but I guess it's Solar Flare. Uh, so we're going to go with Bloom. And we're going to give him one of these. Why not? This is a really solid play into Pine Clone. Theoretically. Did get rid of that. You fool. You're playing into Pine Clone. This is the second Rolling Stone? No. Interesting that he valued the Blooming Heart over the, uh, over the ramp. Oh, here we go. So it's turn three. We'll have two three threes on the board. That's pretty damn good. What is this gonna be? Landscaper? Do we stack these in one lane? Cause hell yeah. Sumo? Maybe it's Sumo. Alright, it's Pine Clone. <laughs> Should I wait one more turn and actually play Copcat? No, we good. It's Landscaper. Uh, it, this is actually very good into Landscaper, so we're not pinging the block meter separately. We're, we're going phase for four. This is turn three, we're going phase for four. This is pretty damn good, and we can actually make it a lot more. Like, look at this turn five play. Very angry, Berry Blast. Ain't bad, guys, if he puts a very blastable minion here. 
It's a very blastable minion. I actually am going to very blast this one, and instead of going very angry, I'm going to place this here, and this will give us a team up for that, and a little bit extra ramp for next turn for the cop cannon. This is going so well! Ah! God damn it. <laughs> very, very angry was the play. We didn't play around weed spray. But we still got the 3-3, three, three, the Sunflower Dimes, very sad. Very sad. So we got Cobb Cannon Dry is what we're going to do here. And then next turn we'll do this play. So this Cobb Cannon, too bad we can't hit three things, but hitting two things is pretty good. The one on the left will get dragged in. This is giving it more cards, but it's okay. I like this combo. Five, this is like a... Like an Astricado. We didn't get any Astricados, but we got Cop Can. The Cop Can's are gonna carry. <laughs> this is so great. Uh, hopefully, we're coming up on a block very soon. An extra, you know, we're running out of cards, so superpower just to give us a little extra momentum. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Uh, so, we're gonna go with you. Uh... Should I be greedy with this? I think we do it now. I mean, we're really, we're going to hit for five and then proc the block. We could do this. It's like a two damage difference this turn. I think we're going to get greedy on the very angry. This uh, does turn into a 3-3. Three, three. This will be fine. Just because it's the turn. If it was the turn, if he had an empty block meter, obviously. Million percent of the time, good phase. Uh, that lives. That's annoying. Rolls a three. Smash. Why this instead of the strike through one? What? He wants his two one. You want this one to die. This guy's not playing a great game of PvZ Heroes. That's what's going on here? And this will proc. The block. I think I'm gonna maybe spam this next turn with the Barry Angry. It depends. There might be a better play. So let's have the option open. Of Hansavenia! Gababi Thibaba! Did we go for the Dandelion King already? Dandelion King will bring his health down to four. Uh, and then three and three could win. Alright, let's do it. Better to do the Dandy now than later, right? Bruh! But it's down to one health though. Actual bra moment. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't very angry. I think we're by by holding this and getting more value later, we're making the right decisions. Uh, so we're down to five. Opponents down to one though. Did we get like a strike through or a berry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We don't want two minions to end up in here, so we are going to let R and Jesus decide where this is gonna end up. But yeah, it's just a little bit of damage, so that's cool. Oh. <laughs> it does move, though. We have two minions going face, that's what I was trying to... <laughs> what I meant was is that we want two minions going face in case he has, like, a, a, a nibble or something. This guy's running rats. We'll probably get away with this here. He only got one card. He's not going to have another weed spray, right? Certainly he won't have another one. No! Oh! Oh, that might cost us the game. We need a we need a berry blast. We need a berry blast to face. This guy's got he's gonna have two cards too. We're only gonna have one. Because we get the cyborg value. Top deck, we have three berry blasts in the deck. We used one already. A strike through would be good. Blues berry would win. Well, we gotta just stall here. Wait. Uh Moving this, yeah, that would have made us lose again. No! Perfect, perfect answers! We should have won that game! We should have won, Chat GPT! I failed you! That was so close, man. He had the weed spray from hell at the end of the game and then got exactly Rolling Stone for the win. Oh, bruh! Oh no! That is so sad, but we're 0 and 1. I really wanted this deck to. Okay, we got more games. The deck's performing well, guys. That was harsh. <laughs>
a card picker, am I right? Bluesberry, Berry Blast would have been good. Taco would have been fine because it makes us live an extra turn. Sonic Bloom would have won. There's a lot of cards in this game, that deck that would have won, actually. And then there's a bunch that just don't die to Rolling Stone. Come on, man. All right, guys. I'm having no mercy. <laughs> I told it has to contain a seed link, but <laughs> no, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, this is probably too much late game. We have three cop cannons. I think this is what we're going with. Na, 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 na. Um, so we have a decision to make if we should be going for blocking the aggro, going aggro ourselves, or ramping. Uh, that's kind of tough. We don't really have anything to ramp to next turn. We could get something, though. I think I'm going to just go face, maybe stick this behind with Scorch, and then try to Pine Clone on turn 3. Could have kind of punished him, though, with the Sunflower. Just taking two damage. <laughs> na, 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 na. Too bad. Cell phone. That's hot. I don't even know if we use the Scorch here. I'm pretty sure that... Not Scorching. I mean, it's a difference of three damage to face. It doesn't matter in the tempo of this game at all, so... Let's actually get a Scorch that affects the tempo of the game rather than... Buying three damage to face, you know? We'll probably get a Scorch that affects a lot more later. But yeah, we got turn three Pine Clone. That's what it's all about, boys. Uh, cards? I'll play cards. We do have the option of not pine cloning now, and if he gives us a bunch of early game... Oh... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I could taco to face and bloom. We could get six damage this turn as opposed to getting four. We'll keep on ramping. I kind of like this play, though. I'm going to do this. And we'll get a better... We're going to be drawing a bunch of early game cards that are going to work well with pine clone. So we'll get, like, a better Pine Clone next year. It's gonna be huge, guys. It's gonna be massive. There you go. Four damage? That's worth it. So we'll go, like, one Pine Clone here to proc the block and then stacks. Gosh. It'd be nice to commit the, the twin in here, but it's not really possible. This is a really good play, and the Sun Strike should hopefully... Uh, finish this guy off. A little bit of heals, too. Not bad. It's a really, really solid play for turn four. What is he gonna do? Chickening? What is he gonna do? Back? Oh, man. He blocked a bunch of it. But We'll probably just Sunstrike this next turn. Bungie clears the line. Okay. We'll have Sunstrike plus uh, Scorch. Hell yeah. Roll one. This really could do 12 damage here. See what trick we get. A little banana bomb would be nice. Espresso Fiesta, that's fun. That's lots of fun. Chickening again removes three damage here. Summoning doesn't block. Pa -pa -pa and just drawing cards. Do you not have a bungee here? Please, yes. Uh, so we're doing 12! Not bad, we got Espresso Fiesta in hand too. We got 16 health? We should have this one. Oh my gosh, the top- Where were you last game, Sonic Bloom? One copy of Sonic Bloom in this deck. Yeah, Trickster, it's funny though. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, one and one and one. Let's go, ChatGPT. <laughs> Harnessing the spirit of ChatGPT. Make this go, guys. Yay! Huh. 
ChatGPT made this deck. If you're just joining right now. <laughs> Slaps ChatGPT. Good old, good old thing. Good old thing will last you your whole life. Please don't take over the world. Um, yeah. Not a bad card, actually, into Rust Bolt. So is Banana Bomb. I think we're just keeping this. It's not a very strong hand, but we have a lot of answers to slow down all the teachers and genetic experiments and paparazzis and stuff that Rust Bolt likes to do early. So having... Having a, this is a good anti-Rust Bolt hand. Hopefully we'll draw it into... Uh, maybe I have a false sense of security since we've been drawing into Pine Clone and stuff. Like, always. A Pine Clone with this hand would be very, very good. <laughs> Here we go. What you got? Show me the teacher. Show me teacher genetic experiment. Do it! You're Rust Bolt! God damn it. Um, I think we play around... Well, it's either Teleportation Zombie or Sumo. Should I just spam these to play around Sumo? I think I will. Perfect. Couldn't be better. Yes! Get wrecked! <laughs> I don't have to have a good deck to beat you at this game, okay? <laughs> Called Situational Awareness, bitches! Yes! Come on, don't Cali roll me! Dude! <laughs> I don't need to have early game California rolls when I'm playing with the Jet GPD deck. Holy crap, that is huge because it also is a tempo. Now, instead of this being at four, it goes to zero. We need a Pine Clone right now. Oh, that's the whole game. That was going to kill. This card was going to ruin his life. It was going to take so many resources that we'll get away with this bad play that we have over here next for free. But now we're done. What was that? Oh, what was that? I hope this is just a sports deck. No. Or nor. I think we just slow... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I think we're just uh, slowing this game down. So we'll do the two for one on the flag zombie. We need a pine clone right now. You know that feeling when you just outplay your opponent and the guy just gets freaking block meter? Just, just, he doesn't deserve to block there, man. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. That's all you have to say. If we get weed sprayed right now, if we get weed sprayed, I'm not going to be a happy man. This is not right here. See this man? This man is not going to be happy if we get weed sprayed. For the third time today. Gosh. <laughs> we ramping though. Top deck cob cannon going on way. We got Briar Rose actually fully loaded right now. We even have a flower on the board. So the opponent used nerf. They have two more superpowers, which are heal, which he would have used. So let's just assume he has chop and he has rock wall. <laughs> Remember that 0-2 Sonic Bloom that wasn't going to do anything for the rest of the game? Remember that? Are you kidding me, bro? Look at the Sonic Bloom killing this guy. And now this was turn 6. If we if we commit this, we actually get to play uh, Colonel Corn next turn. This clears his board. Blooming heart popping off. Just be a, being a flower. That's all you got to do, Blooming Heart. Just be... Look at the Colonel Corn, the last car. We ended up with a crap, you know, curve a little bit too low and, and stuff. But we're... Oh, we didn't even need that. Whoops. I forgot that we get Sunny or Shroom Suits, too. My bad. My bad. Yeah, if he plays two minions, we'll Colonel Corn. And if he plays one, we'll Cobb Cannon. His ass. He does have chop. We know he has chop a thousand percent, so. That's funny, though. Bruh. Alright. He's gonna chop that, but it's fine. <laughs> Goodbye. I didn't need that sunflower anymore. The, the, the thing, some, someone's saying it must have been chopped because it went instant to his hand. I don't think that's actually how it works. 
I'm pretty sure the game, first of all, there's a little bit of lag. Like, there is not, this game does not have very high latency. There is a really big gap between, you know, him reacting to it and not. So if the person clicks on it right away, it's very likely going to go instantly to his hand. I think the game also has a little bit of mechanic that, that, it could be it's lag, it could be there's actually a built-in mechanic that it just stalls it for a second and goes in the hand. I've seen that happen before. That so it just doesn't make it so obvious that it's a superpower. This is fine. This is fine. Get the hell out of my stream. This guy, at least he has no more blocks left. At least there's that. Pretty good kernel corn. <laughs> nice going viral, bro. <laughs> nice one. I think we got this game. I don't know about you. This guy's down to he's down to three. Come on, top deck berry blast. We got three of them in the deck. <laughs> God damn it. Pretty much just got a top deck berry blast. And that's all you really gotta do, you know. Yes, get right. <laughs> Two and one with chat GPT. I believe in this deck. Thank you, Boonie Farms. For the hundred bits. Keep your head up, Fry. What does that mean? Why are you giving me all this all this generic encouragement, Tryhard? I feel great. I'm feeling fantastic. I don't know about you. I feel good. I'm getting rid of Bellflower. I'm keeping this hand though. This is actually it. This is like a legit, highly competitive PvZ Heroes hand from the ChatGPT deck. So proud of you. But ChatGPT makes better decks than you. Exactly, guys. Exactly. No, 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 no. So he used a bungee. He could very likely have another bungee plumber. I I, I mean, oh. this is tough. Now I always say to try to. He, he he very likely has another bungee with this card. Could have summoning. Why would he not? Like could have not. He could have saved summoning. Backup Dan. He's probably going for Eureka here. Actually, I'm gonna say because. He didn't use the summoning last turn. That he either has backup dancers or Eureka, and he doesn't have second bungee. And it's not, it's not, you would have used summoning last turn probably and saved the bungee for this. Yes, we got away with it. Hell yeah. Turn three, Briar Rose. Old school. This is a turn three card. That's what that is. Squishy, squishy, squishies. That sucks. We need a leap! We need a leap! So, um, we could weed whack this one next turn. We have to just commit Briar Rose and kind of kill his engine here. I, there's a weed whack and then what? And then taco our own face? We can do that next turn without the ramp. It'll be four. So we'll, we can weed whack this one. I'll kill this one. It keeps the Briar Rose higher health. He'll draw one card, but again, weed whack will prevent the second card. Yeah, we're in shape. We killed his engine. So the two for one, but two for one with the superpower. That's it. Yes, little buddy is so good here with Briar Rose. With Briar Rose, come on, Bellflower. Come on, Bellflower. Come, on, man. It's all good. So we weed whack. The question is, should I heal my face or should I heal Briar Rose? I think we heal Briar Rose. I think it's enough value, and our face is safe enough. That we gonna we gonna heal let's see what we get like if we get a team up i'll definitely use the little buddy here but what if we don't get a team up here do we need a team up for cob cannon that's kind of rough i think this little buddy is gonna do more than prevent two damage on our briar rose later he could have a bungee but again he used a bungee already Yep, very happy saving this, both for a higher value Briar Rose ping. Again, this is a flower, so if anything hits Little Buddy, he's dead. 
But also because we have Cobb Cannon up in here. I'm a little bit worried that the opponent has um, chickening passing on turn 6. Nonetheless, I am going to do... I'm going to full send into chickening. There's not enough chickenings to not do this play, which is the only thing we can really do to get value out of the 5 sun we have in our arsenal this turn. And he did not have it. That's a pretty decent play for turn 5. Look at our board. Just don't get any, no, just no z Max super, just, you get your summoning, you can get a Morticia Bats even, which is even better. You can get a Neptuna super, nerf, that's fine. Why did he hit that and not the Briar Rose? Because he's got Bats, which blocks all the damage. He got Bats? <laughs> what do you know? It's all good. Briar Rose lives here, which is value for money. Uh, so we don't have a team up for the cop cannon. Yeah, pine clone. Honestly, this is probably the last turn that we're going to be able to pine clone. We don't need this Briar Rose to be 5-2 and 3-3. Three, three. Against Brainstorm, it's about the same. And now it turns it from a even trade to a winning trade. So we're going to we're gonna pine clone here. Two 3-3s three, on the board, win the trade in lane 4. That's a value play. We are not don't have super efficient finishers or synergy in this deck, so it's just about... This is kind of like good old-school PvZ heroes. Like old-school, you know, just Hearthstone. Just gotta make value trades, grind the opponent down, get some face damage, try to establish tempo. Oh. <laughs> senor. Senor, you're very scary, senor. God damn it. The good news is... We actually have Gravitry, which is hot here. We have Gravitry Banana Bomb. We also have Squash Banana Bomb, but that's... How do we do this? Gravitry wins the trade. It establishes tempo. We'll have 8 next turn. Not much to do here with 8. I'm pretty sure this is the play. A Gravitry will have two health and an armor left. Good enough. What's the best smash deck? The one we did, oh there, that's a two that's like a three for one. He loses a card, we gain a card. <laughs> dragon, that's that's a good card. I, I don't think dragon. Dragon these nuts on your face is what this really is. Dude! Dude! No! I know this doesn't really... I don't know. Don't have a three attack card. But he's another trickster? For real? Mustache, mustache, trickster. On turn nine. Alright, we're turn two. God damn it, we had dragon. <laughs> oh well. I think that game went actually really well. He literally did 12 damage with Trickster. Oh, he did he did 15 out of 20 damage with Trickster, man. That's crazy. We had that guy like we were killing him two turns ago, but <laughs> Mustache Trickster. So much for that. Oh, it's so tempting to keep Cobb Cannon. We get one more early game card, and no, we can't do it. Okay, I kind of have to get rid of this, too. Alright, well, we got a good superpower. What are the bets, by the way, for the 5 out of 8? 49% voted yes, 51 voted no. Uh, we might as well take this out right now. Since Colonel Pulse is going to be one of the only cards in Infinity's kit that this answers. And then, like, space time kind of answer. Twin Sunflower setting this up behind? That's hot. Uh, I guess we'll do it here. Still has one health to spare. I hope we can get 
top deck something that makes this twin sunflower worth it though. Sonic Bloom is kind of sad. It's not terrible though. Even like Sonic Bloom here and Weed Whack. Could you play a Weed Whackable minion here? God damn it. I'm not feeling too well. Alright. We'll do this just to get contest the 4 3, you know? It's not about the damage to face. It's about the, the. Oh, oh, could you miss? Could you please miss? Can you please miss? God damn, we got perfect infinity clones. Okay, well. <laughs> this deck is actually doing well, but our luck today has been so bad. We need a break. We need one. Oh, okay, here's a little ramp. But right, even look at his block meter. Like what? We hit him we hit him two times. How does he have 17? How does this block meter even this full, bro? How is it even that full? We hit him with Colonel Pulse on one. Then on turn two. What else did we hit him with? Wait. He played Barrel on two. We played Twin Sunflower. Oh, Sonic Bloom was the second one. But still, man. I don't know. This is rough. Kind of plays around final mission. Watch him California roll us too. No, didn't matter. Okay. Oh. Boom. We got some health. That's awesome. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Let's see what's in the box. Cop cannon is in the box. We're never gonna be able to really pine clone this game, so let's do that. Maybe I should have let this hit me. Cause right now we're on a one turn clock that we can't. Well, if we get a team up, we can kill this. Uh, we need a team up. I think we let the one damage hit us. I guess we just Colonel Core and then one damage and then six. We should be okay here. Uh, we'll let the Cobb Cannon be in lane four. This is pretty good. Unless he rolls a three here, then this kills us. But otherwise, if he rolls a one or a two, we have two thirds of a chance of surviving this. One. I'll take those odds. Freeze. Can we please roll one or a two? Okay, now we have to not roll one. Are you serious? Are you serious? GPT, please forgive me. What? A, no, for real, guys. Real talk. Real talk, chat. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. Come on, man. Come on, man. This deck is doing so well, all things considered. It's performing beyond any expectation of, of oh, considering the circumstances. We are getting so screwed at every turn. Just that Infinity Clone landing right on top of our Twin Sunflower, preventing a ramp. You know all the things we could have done that game with the extra two sun. Opponents had just getting every answer. Oh, man, that hurt.
I wonder if I keep little buddy here. I think I have to ditch it. This is probably a better hand anyway. Now we gotta win three straight games to, to get the cheese. This is a pretty good play against Conman. It's, it's not pretty good, it's not terrible. I'm having fun. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm having fun. Is this is either a drone engineer or a teleportation zombie. If this is a conga, enjoy being a conga. You know what? Just enjoy being a conga. That's all you'll ever be. It's a drone engineer. It's about like 90% teleportation zombie, 8% drone engineer, 2% conga. Which is why you should run conga more. No one plays around it, nor should they. We don't got, we're bricks for turn four, and unfortunately. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm gonna play around, beam me up, and try to get something in front of this. Yes, Morispore, you're perfect. You couldn't have been better, Morispore. Thank you. Beam me up, denied. And he bungees the wrong one. Oh, is he this guy? Oh, he had the summoning too. But still, man, I don't know. I think you gotta kill the Sunflower there. He's gonna regret display. Believe you me. He only got two cards. Getting Imposter there from summoning is actually like miracle because he's running out of steam. It's actually godlike. Actually. Alright. This is turn four slash turn five. Wow. I might not even... If he puts something heavy here, I'll commit Briar Rose. Honestly, this Bluesberry... Bluesberry could just be played next turn. I think I'm gonna do Briar Rose here. We'll Blueberry this next turn, and we'll just hit him with this and just capitalize on the insane value from Sir Briar Rose. The Sunflower can die. The, 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 the damage is done already. Keeps him off the board. Ramps, get Briar Rose in a turn earlier. Kill this crap. He needs cards. I feel like he needs cards more than I do, because I got a two-for-one in my hands. Boonie Farms for us says, Fry, you're a great streamer and YouTuber. Thank you. <laughs> you're so kind. I don't even know what to say. You guys. Keep Briar Rose alive at all costs. Dot exe. Wow, this totally should have gone here so we can win that trade. <laughs> Whoops. Especially on the turn we're blocking. Kind of high. This is... That was not good value. I think we have to weed wag that before he plays. He has a lot of science cards, so he's gonna just transform into something. So we squash if he plays a big card. If he doesn't, we go for this play. Go very angry. Maybe I should have saved that since this is gonna transform. Pretty temporary, very angry. Bungie. All right, well, we got late game. Anything from P Power Flower, Dandelion King, Briar Rose. That transformation is sad. I should have held that. I love that. So it's going on YouTube? Yeah. This stream is... This stream is lit. Decent Briars. Come on, Fruitcake. The best card for us in his hand would be Fruitcake, because we're in a card advantage game. Oh, god damn it. Well, there goes our card advantage. Thanks, Eureka. It's so good. Three random ass cards. We can actually play both of these. I hope he just commits a big minion here. Let's, let's do this one. That cut his health in half, though. That did eight damage, man. That's crazy. Uh-oh. No, just no guard throwing guard in Rebeccasaur. Yes, he had the fruitcake. Hell yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> no. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> no, no. He got a frenzied five drop. 
out of goddamn Eureka. How about give me a break? How about that? This probably should have gone here and squashed this one. On second thought. We'll probably have to squash something bigger later. Bullseye overshoot. Ugh. That hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I don't think we're gonna win this anymore. That that really hurt us, all that bullseye, man. We're not gonna blow. I guess we squash this one. And hope for the best. What the hell? <laughs> More bullseye! So we squash this one. Berry blast this one. And twin this one. And hopefully of the two cards in his hand, he doesn't have a minion. <laughs> he needs a minion! <laughs> Block. Oh, we always have to kill this, right? So now I'm gonna go face for six, right? Well, if we top that cop cannon, I guess that probably should go face. Oh. <laughs> go for the teleport, please. Please go for teleport. Please, god damn it. So the play would be cop cannon, and we could have supered face and actually won this game. But then he just teleports something in. Chances of winning, very, very small. Uh, this is guaranteed lethal now, right? Unless it's surprise guard, <laughs> and he played it in the wrong way. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're two and four. Bro, you misplay. You should have saved the super of the face. You should have saved the fifth th th th. I like timing people out there, jerks. It makes this fun. All right. Well, ChatGPT went two and four, but keep on playing games. The answer's no. The answer is no. I think this deck could have could have gone. It could have gone the distance, but RNG has had a different had a different plan for us today. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any environments. We can't really deal with the overshoot environment. These are such good cards. I wish we could just keep these. Should I? Three, four, five, six. Am I insane? I'm insane. Can we get anything that's not more sport? <laughs> no. Okay, more sport, do your fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. More sport, I love you, more sport. Oh, 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 oh. All right, everything's gonna be fine, guys. Boop, boop. Move it to lane one, you fool! It's gonna. Be... Oh, he actually blocked two deaths. Nice. Nice. Uh... All right, the answer is no. Always goes here. Can we? Can we be not just don't? That's uh, fine. That's uh, okay. Everything's fine, guys. So I guess we use Power Flower. We could go for Pine Clone first. Maybe we'll just go Pine Clone. <laughs> Bluesberry. I don't know when we're gonna pine clone. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna not pine clone. I'll go against my better instinct. We'll get the two for one. We'll keep ramping. We'll have a cob cannon and fry rose and all this stuff coming up. And like we're gonna start accumulating trash in our hands since we have most of our late game sitting in our hand right now. We'll just like if we don't win with all this late game, we're gonna create more late game later with pine clone. See? See what would happen if we pine clone? See what see what would happen? 
Um, pretty sure it's just Briar Rose here, right? In fact, I'm gonna be a bitch and actually utilize Bellflower and save my ramp. Why not? Save the team up for Cop Cannon for the next with turn six guard. Why not? Look how good Briar Rose is here. Jeez, this deck is so great. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're dominating this one. Oh no, I really favorite thing. Wow, we don't even have to use Cobb Cannon yet. I think I'm just going Power Flower, Twin Sunflower. Well, Cobb Cannon later. That's a good Power Flower right there, man. Briar Rose, this guy just does not have an answer to Briar Rose. Punta. So he's got a 6-2, who cares? We have 16 health. We chillin'. We're healing for three here. That's so awesome. Let's go, Garg throwing Garg. Good enough. It's just Garg. Just, just Garg. <laughs> Plus, we get seedling. Uh, so this is 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's keep Briar Rose alive. We'll get some stuff for this later. We'll just get another Bluesberry from the seedling, guys. Bellflower, I know, getting that much value from Bellflower, insane. <laughs> this guy's gonna concede to Chad GPT. <laughs> He's gonna concede. Chad GPT, guys, let's go. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think that should be the highlight intro. Is the bellflower? Is the bellflower popping off? Game. Seven, turn five. Oh, he healing. This guy ain't done yet. What turn was it? Five. Next turn was turn. Yeah, it's turn five. What? <laughs> yes, we're three and four now. Hell yeah, we'll go for the four and four. I'll be happy with the four and four. Listen, we set the bar high. But with this much luck breaking even, man, or lack thereof. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Mm. Dank Chronic. I guess we keep this, right? I didn't regret keeping all those good late game cards. Last time. Maybe just Power Flower we'll get rid of here. Pretty good. Really good hand. It's top tier starting hand. Let's go. Why not? We'll skip the two damage. Go straight to 3 1, which is really good against Rose Ball. Oh. 
Yeah, I totally wasn't paying attention. What did the seedling turn into? <laughs> I totally missed it. It turned into Torchwood? Oh, it turned into Torchwood. Yes! We got ants? Wow, this is the best two for one in the history of this game. That is so freaking good. So now this will be turn two. We're going to be able to... I mean... I guess this goes here. Keeping this 3-1, it'll be a 4-1 alive is probably the most the Sunflower does. We could have put it behind, but it's a little greedy. Just so we can get Briars on turn 4. Maybe that is the play. Oh, we don't even need it now. Jesus. Look at this hand. Look at this top tier hand over here. It's top tier. We'll put this here just so we have an option of putting Briar behind or putting Briar to the right. We've got options. Well, I didn't have weed spray, so that's awesome. Man. Got a player on that crap. Wow. I almost want to go Briar Rose plus Berry Angry here. Or Bellflower. Is this insane if I did this play? We don't really need Briar Rose. I don't want Briar Rose getting chopped either. Or whatever. Call me insane, which I definitely am. I'm doing this play. <laughs> Gotta get these good berry angries when you have a chance. That's a 3 1 also. Pretty good. There's his chop. Hell yeah. Rolling stone. It's okay. Little cabbage, welcome to the primally. We never did terrify Neptuna. I was about to do a gardening glove like today, actually. Could you play a minion so I could Briar Rose your ass to the Ice Age, please? See who plays. So this does four if we proc the block first. Or we can use this to, to proc the block. He has to use heal. He used chop, so he, he has heal still in the either there somewhere. I think we're going to do this. We'll proc the block with two, go face for a six, and if he gets heal, we get more better Dandelion King. Later. Fry versus try hard chat GPT battle. Basically, we both have to use our chat. I'll use this deck. I'll use just this one right here. I think this would be better than anything chat GPT ever gave you. <laughs> Damn, this guy's down to two. He has a full block meter again, so we'll just like. Hmm. Proc the block. Proc the block. Gotta proc that. Mm, 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 mm. Is this a flower? Of course it's a flower. It's a freaking dandelion. This is, this is like the most flower it could be. I don't know, I've never really like thought of the synergy between this and Briar Rose. Because there is none. You don't want six cost flowers in a Briar Rose deck. Soul Patch being the only exception at seven costs. Yo Fry, you have a nice forehead. Thank you! Glad you appreciate it. My barber says I have an intelligent forehead. Also, my barber is just my mom, so. Who knows if she's telling the truth? Yes! Four and fourth chat GPT. Guys, we didn't win the bets. Mission failed successfully. This is. This deck was so good for a chat GPT deck. Really not bad. <laughs> Did like the one card of each challenge. Three cow cannons, three berry blasts, four wins. That's all we need, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see me do this again, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. If you guys made it to the end of the video and you never want to see this ever again, also let me know in the comment section below. I think I'm, next time I'm going to make let Bing AI. Bing AI is, like, actually really, really good. Um, uh, let me know if you guys want to see JetGPT do it again. The struggle was real. This was great. Great stream. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is right.